Hey guys, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. I want to thank you guys for all being here. Tonight is the oldest box we've done thus far in the series. All the way back to 1984, to the year that I was born, and also the year of my favorite movie franchise of all time, The Ghostbusters, as I'm sure most of you guys already know. And I'm sure a lot of you guys saw Eric do this for his recent thir Throwback Thursday and pull the Mattingly rookie car out of here and the strawberry as well. And we were doing the Fleer Cello box, uh, BBCE authenticated. This is courtesy of a good friend of the channel, Jonathan H. So uh, pretty excited to do this one and hopefully pull several Mattingly rookie cards out of here for you guys tonight. And right off the bat, a two-dollar super chat from Jonathan H. That says, <laughs> "I am not even going to say that, man. I appreciate that, but I am not saying that, buddy." <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Jonathan H. The uh, participants of the break. Top left, Joseph B. Is it on this one? And uh, he was really excited about this one because he missed out on Eric's previous one on th last Thursday. Dallas F. Top right, bottom left, John A. And Jonathan H. also has a spot in this break. He's excited for it as well. The bottom right. And $2, $2 super chat from no, 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 Jonathan H. With another tongue twister that we are not going to say. <laughs> he is loving that. He is loving it. And we also have one touches, courtesy of John H. as well. So if we do pull several Mattingly's, they are good and ready to go. Coming directly to you. And a two dollar super chat from Cody Martin, and he is in on the tongue twister craze. I appreciate that as well, Cody Martin. Please check out their channels. I will uh, definitely link some of these below in the description. I'm gonna waste no more time and get started here, though. I cannot wait to dive into this box. Um, I'm gonna be very, very careful about this. I don't want any of these cards to get damaged. Uh, 84 Fleer Cello. We got 28 cards per pack. Two logo cards. And the PSA 10 Mattingly, they bounce all around in price. Seen some sell for 250, some sell for 500. Uh, the Strawberry Rookie cards also in here. Those usually go for about 60 bucks. PSA 10. You got Van Slyke Rookie card in here. Uh, BBC Authenticated Box D sells for about 260 bucks. So the first up, we're gonna do as we always do. Looking very, very nice here. Be pretty sick to see if we have a Mattingly on top of one of these stacks even. But first up, we'll do Joseph B. He was really excited about this uh, break. Like I said, he missed out on uh, a spot in Eric's break. I know Eric's break sold out in like less than two minutes, I want to say, if, if that even. And a $5 super chat from Dallas Foster. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck could chuck wood. I can say that one pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much for that Dallas Foster. Please check his channel out. He's putting new videos out uh, pretty quickly. This last pack kind of came undone there a little bit. But we have six packs per stack here. 28 cards per pack. Halo Man 100 Beast Mode says, Manly in bottom left second pack. He's calling it out. Joseph B in the hot seat. My brother's here. Chris Cards is here. Thank you guys all for joining us tonight for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And let's find some Manleys, guys. Let's find some Manleys. Check out what we got here in the first stack for Joseph B. I'm not going to read all the names off. Paul Hell says, let's find John Wathen. I'm sure we'll see him in here. There's a Steve Garvey Iron Man card there. Not the Jim Morrison that you're thinking of. Walt Terrell ends that pack off. First one for Joseph B. Best of luck to all you guys. That's a pretty sweet umbrella hat, though. That's actually a, 
Let's see, uh, Budweiser suit blazer jacket that I bought at a Salvation Army for five bucks a few years back and ended up selling for like 500 some dollars. Exactly same print like that. <laughs> Pretty sweet thrift store flip there. Bobby Cox, Tom Seaver, it's a nice one. There's a nice Tony Gwynn, second year card, Tony Gwynn. Nice Tony Gwynn, Bucko's sticker there. Red Sox. Don Sutton. Jack Morris. Steve Carlton. Not a nice one. Pretty good pack so far. Thought that was the strawberry for a second. Keith Hernandez. So a few Hall of Famers in that pack. Not too shabby. repeats here several repeats here Tom Seaver Gwynn some good repeats though Steve Carlton again with a different card there red sticker Cubs another Jack Morris another Steve Carlton so two Carlton's in that pack thought that was a strawberry again with Hernandez so Burt Blylevin some more Hall of Famers I know Joseph B. really wants that Mattingly. Fernando Valenzuela. Rookie card is 81. Bo Diaz left us too early. Yankee sticker. A's. Kirk Gibson, it's a nice one. Gorman Thomas. Not sure if Joseph B is in here or not. Sherry Kuzman. Dickie Thawne cut pretty bad there. Phillips says, love the stickers from the set. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Or Steve Carlton. Mike Schmidt, it's a nice one. I thought that was Strawberry again. So this is actually one of those uh, split cards like we see in 85 Fleer. Same with the Steve Sachs. They're not cut weird. I see a Mets card, I think it's gonna be strawberry. We have one more pack left for Joseph B. Hoping for the Mattingly for you there, buddy. Seen a lot of repeat cards of Mike Schmidt again. So some decent Hall of Famers in his stack so far though. Phil Necro, it's a new one. Where's the Donnie baseball at? Tony Perez and Pete Vukovic. So no Donnie baseball yet. So sorry about your luck there, Joseph B. But I will get these sent out to you in the next couple of days also with uh, some other stuff too. Plan on sending you a fan mail response. So I'll add some nice goodies for you. Next up, we're going to do Dallas Foster stack, top right. Uh, Joseph isn't here. I'll hook you up with some extra stuff, Joseph B. You always send me cool stuff for uh, Friend Mail Friday. No Donnie Baseball on the top of any of these ones for Dallas. Jonathan H. says box is scaring me just a little bit. I've seen a lot of repeat cards. Our Seaver and our Gwyn. Gibson. Kuzman.
Gary says, good luck, Dallas. Yes, good luck indeed. There's a Rifkin. That's a nice one. Cal Rifkin. It's actually his third year card, but a uh, very nice one overall. Kind of sucks about the one corner is kind of bashed in there out of all uh, this. Actually, this entire pack kind of bashed in there. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, Donnie Baseball is not in here. I watch only the few of those cards there are kind of bashed in there. The rest of these seem to be all right, though. Nice Ripken overall, though. First time seeing that car, I was kind of worried that uh, it's going to be like the 81 Don Russ break for a second. These ones seem to be all right. Joe Necro. There's a Dale Murphy. Lee Smith. It's a nice one. So seeing some different ones now. Nice Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer there. Rod Carew as well. There's a Sandberg. Second year Sandberg, nice one. So starting to show some signs of hope here. Steve Garvey again. Bill Buckner, rest in peace to him. Tim Raines with the weird, uh, nice Nolan Ryan. Very nice. Nice Nolan Ryan coming to you, Dallas Foster. I like that car a lot. And Dave Stewart. Two packs left for Dallas F. Definitely a very nice Nolan Ryan there. Nice Paul Molitor. One of these Molitors is actually an uncorrected error. It's a stat error, but uh, really not much value to it. Buckos sticker again, the Mariners. Hey, Donald Blomdahl. Donnie Baseball, Dan Quisenberry is actually in the uh, box top there. Dan Spilner and one pack left. Raleigh Fingers is on the back there. Ron, Ron Kittle card always freaked me out. I don't know why. Nice Wade Boggs. Definitely seeing some uh, nice Hall of Famers in these first two stacks so far, though. There's Eckersley. Angels and Twins. Still no strawberry yet either. And Raleigh Fingers, so still no Donnie Baseball. And we are halfway done with the box. Jonathan H says, Bog, Sandberg, and Ryan is a good stack. No doubt about it. So yeah, definitely. Bog second year as well. So I'd say that uh, Dallas did pretty good. I think uh, Joseph B did pretty good too as well with a couple of Gwens and whatnot. Next up, we'll do John A. I forget um, the placement for Eric's Mattingly. Not sure what stack that was in. Let's do a quick check, see if the Mattingly's on top. It's a $2 super chat from Goomba Joe. Joey, it says, I hope you pull a Mattingly. Thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate that, Goomba Joey. Please check him out, give him a sub. No manly on the top of any of these packs. Best of luck to you, John A. And there's a two dollar super chat from John A. So he is in here. It says I hope hope I get manly and Wathen. Thanks a lot, man. I hope you do too. There's a Dale Murphy, Lee Smith, Vance Law, kind of a creepy card there. I would say that I never cared for Vance Law, but then I'd probably get like 50 of his cards in the mail. Two-hour super chat from John H. Says, feel like we're starting a new series, Wax vs. Cello. Thanks so much, man. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, we, we definitely should do that. Rod Carew and Sandberg, second year. Some nice ones in that pack. So not too bad of a pack so far. Chili Davis looking mighty angry there. Craig Swan. 
One pack down. Phil Necro again. Liz is on a repeat pack here. Phil and Joe in the same pack. No more Diggy Thons. Please, Pete Bukovic again. Lamar Hoyt. Fisk again. Hey, Triple C's. Chris Card said Vern Law will have his son sign his 85 Tops Father and Son card be mailed to him. That's interesting. Pack three for John A. Let's find that Madding League. Cubs and Blue Jays. Robin Yount's first time we've seen him so far. Nice one. There's John Wathen. John Wathen finally showed up. Haven't seen that one yet. Could be an omen for the Mattingly. Not even a strawberry yet. Come on. Ozzy Smith. That's a nice one, too. I haven't seen that one yet so far. Tom says, what are the odds of a Mattingly? I would think we'd have pretty good odds in the cello box. 28 cards per pack. Not sure what the exact odds are. That's a nice one. Gaylord Perry and uh, George Brett, the pine tar incident. Who can forget that? There's a nice Pete Rose. I haven't seen him yet either. Francona. Eddie Murray is a nice one as well. Tony Fernandez, that's actually his rookie card. Good old Tony Fernandez. Cody says I missed a Chet Lemon card. <laughs> My fault. Last pack for John A. Some of this last pack luck here for this Matting Lee. Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer there. Andy Van Slyke rookie card. It's about time one of them showed up. Van Slyke rookie card, nice one there. Jim Rice and Floyd Bannister. So no Mattingly yet. Good stack though overall. Modest, not finding Mattingly. A lot of good Hall of Famers in there regardless for John A. And we move on to the final stack for Jonathan H. The bottom right. Like I said, Jonathan H. sponsored this break. He is the reason why prices were even cheaper than they should have been. So this box was 260 bucks. Spots were 70 bucks a piece. They should have been even more. Um, so he lost money on the break overall, but he is a good dude overall. So that's why they are cheaper. Six packs here, no Madden on the top. Jonathan H is up. Good luck to you, man. <laughs> that card kills me, that Budweiser <laughs> umbrella hat. Gotta see that Donnie Baseball or a strawberry. Eric pulled both of them. I think the strawberry pulled pretty quickly, too. No Donnie Baseball in the first pack. Chet Lemon again. There's the Pine Tarnson again. Gaylord Perry. I haven't seen that one yet. Eddie Murray again. $2 Super Chat and 357 MAGA. 
It says, your overall opinions on the National, John. Thanks a lot for that Super Chat, 357 MAGA. Um, I thought it was a good time. It's definitely a lot to look at. It was... Uh, Like kind of, kind of like what some other people said, though. For someone like me who collects a lot of things from the junk wax era, I can kind of go anywhere and buy the stuff that I collect. So I don't really necessarily need to go to the National to buy the things that I buy. But I like the overall experience. It's fun to... It's definitely a good memory to go and spend time with Eric and just check out cards and live that experience. And I think I found some good stuff there and got some good deals. But... Uh, it's also cool to see, I feel like the hobby has made such a huge comeback over the years, too. Like, there's a lot of people there on Wednesday and Thursday. I think there's still that many people that uh, collect baseball cards, so it's really cool to see that all these years later um, from a hobby that you thought kind of died off over the years. It's definitely made a, a, a tremendous comeback, which is pretty awesome to see that firsthand in person. So I'd like to go next year, too, and continue to go. But... Uh, I would have had a much more better time if I wasn't having severe headaches. So I was kind of just trying to get through it for the most part, which made it miserable. And hopefully that's a good enough answer for you. I appreciate that super chat, 357 Mega. There he is, Donnie Baseball. Donnie Baseball finally showed up in the very last stack. Pretty off center, but uh, Donnie Baseball, we have found him. Jonathan H., he is coming home to you. I was getting very worried there. I know I missed the Super Chat, too. I'm sorry. I was rambling. Throw him into one of these one touches for you. So, a little center. Uh, I'm glad that we found him, though, overall, in the cello box. I was getting pretty worried. Donnie Baseball rookie card. Awesome, awesome card overall. So, congrats to you, Jonathan H. He is coming your way. And uh, let me scoot back a little bit there. $2 super chat from Austin Farmer, the collector formerly known as Austin, says, money for more Gilkies since there are none in the set. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. And also one from Chad Hawkins that I missed for two bucks. It says, great break, John. Let's see the hands of fire. And then one from Jonathan H. It says, for five bucks, it says, like spending time with the Jazz family, Chicago, the city, brotherly love, brotherly love. Wait, that's not right. Oh, yay. I have tops and Don Russ. Trifecta. <laughs> Thanks, man. And 20 bucks from back in the game collecting. It says, got to give props to the best intro music in the game, LOL. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. Very nice, all you guys. You guys are awesome. And $2 from Baltimore Box Breakers. It says he's bracing himself because that border is so close. <laughs> That's hilarious. Please check it, those guys out and uh, give them a sub. You guys are generous, super generous, and I appreciate you guys all being here. Um, that was a really cool to finally pull that out of the box. I was... Definitely sweating. I mean, I'm sweating already because I'm air conditioning in my house, but uh, I was sweating even more so because we, we're getting down to the end of the box here. Dave Winfield. Maybe we can pull another one on a stack. Mike Anderson sa says Kahoot. I didn't have anything lined up as of yet. I mean, uh, we can give some cards away and do card guessing if you want to do that. Usually people get really angry uh, whenever I do the card guessing game because of the lag time overall. So, we pulled the Van Slyke rookie, the, the Donnie Baseball rookie. And uh, the only one missing is the Strawberry. I wish I could have pulled every single one of you guys, the Matting Lee. That would have been nice. In a perfect world, maybe. We're down to one pack left of 84 Fleer. And another $2 Super Chat from John H. That says, does that little mini AC thing work at all? Yeah, it does, but the room that I'm in is so big. It, it, uh, I have a big fan and also that thing. So, it does a little bit. A 
But thank you for sending me that, Jonathan H. Last pack, less than half the pack left. And I thought that was strawberry for a second. We didn't find a strawberry in a cello box, but luckily we found the Mattingly. Off center, but he is heading your way, John H. And a $5 super chat from, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Steeson1 or Stesson1. It says Irish wristwatch. Thanks a lot for that super chat. Really appreciate that. Please go and check him out and give him a sub. Hey, Legion. Thank you guys all for uh, being here tonight for the 84 Fleer break. I didn't really have anything planned for Kahoot. I just got home like five minutes before the stream. Um, if you guys want to do a card guessing game, I mean, we can do that if you really want to. We can give a, a few cards away. Usually people get pretty upset whenever we do that, though, because of the lag, like I said before. But, I mean, I have some cards to give away if you want, if you want to. It's up to you guys. Mike Anderson says yes. Because usually, I mean, it's whoever I see first on my side of the screen, that's who wins the card. But then when you go back and rewatch the stream later on, it's usually somebody else. And then people start to yell fix. <laughs> but if you, if you guys want to do it, we can. It's up to you. Doesn't matter to me. All right, everyone's saying no, so we'll call it a night. Next time, you know what? Tomorrow night we'll do. Uh, Gary says no. Cody says no. Tomorrow night we're gonna we'll meet back up again and we will do uh, these. So join me tomorrow night. We'll do this box and we'll do uh, Kahoot, Kahoot tomorrow. We'll break these live Stranger Things two season two cards, two hits per box. I know I've been wanting to do these, but I've been putting them off because of my headaches. I got my MRI done today earlier so hoping for some good news maybe i'll have the results for you tomorrow so maybe we'll do kahoot tomorrow i didn't have time to, to getting ready today and we'll give some stuff away so maybe like 9 9 30 tomorrow um actually eric will probably be live so there'll probably be like three people in here but we'll do it anyways so maybe uh we'll do that then so thanks again you guys and thanks to everyone that participated in the break i will see you guys all tomorrow night have a good night, everyone.